Houston. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Washington Nationals and the Houston Astros. It's Astros baseball on the show. Next. Lane Thomas now. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Washington, the center fielder, Lane. First offering Thomas. on its way. First pitch, one o'clock. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. One and one. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the one ball two. down. A ball and two strikes now. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. And now for Washington, number three. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Number three. Now here's the pitch. One ball. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Count even now at one, one and one. one. Sinker oh. misses that time, and it's two and one. Into center field, line drive base hit. That is third. The right field. Juan Soto. Juan Soto to the plate now. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Throw over to the back. Oh, Throw right. is up the line as it gets away. Runners on first with one down. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now a ground ball for Altuve could be two. The second for one. Striding in now for the Nats, Josh Bell, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. And for me, this is the side he looks more fluid from. A little more control in his swing, and it seems to lead to more consistent contact yeah, than from the right side. And that's in there for strike one. Yeah. Strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. From the stretch. Hit on the ground out to short. On to Altuve yep. for the force out, and the inning is over. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Oh. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. 1 1. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball, it's 2 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Fouled away. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. One out, base is empty. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. Brantley. First pitch of the A.B. now. Fastball well outside. 
One out, nobody on. One and out. Two and out to Brantley. Two and out the count. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Here's the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg. He's two for three. From the stretch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that ball, downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. And he'll come back with two one, and one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Smoked on the ground, left side. Speared on the dive. It's there, he got him. Second inning set to go. And standing in is the DH, Ryan Zimmerman. And now the first pitch. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. One and two. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That is good. Digging in next, Yadiel Hernandez. First pitch on the way. No score here as we play inning number two. Takes a That's pitch high and away for ball one. One and one. And he'll come back two with one. one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Here it comes. Two. Everything this guy throws is hard. That two change two if count. he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Still two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate That's the heck it. out of the pitcher. Four. But you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. That is definitely. One out, runner at first, and Kebert Ruiz will mm -hmm. dig into the plate. From the belt, the pitch. Looked like the a ball. sinker there, dipped a little below the knees. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Plate now, Luis Garcia. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. This one's flared out toward left. Correa over to his right, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Two down, no one on base. And in steps Carter Kiboom to give it a try. First offering. 1-0. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike one, number two. Count. Breaking ball two that two. time that misses out of the zone. The 2-2. Two, two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out.
si te sigo con los ceros La vida me bendijo porque me mero Soy mi jefe, eso va por lo que yo quiero Last half of the second set to go And striding forward the designated hitter Jordan Alvarez Jordan Alvarez First pitch on the way Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he oh. just misses inside with the fastball there. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer the half of the plate. Strike. Count even at two and two. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. That's so one good. out and nobody aboard. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. First pitch of the AB on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. No balls, one strike. One out, nobody on. And he takes Ball. this one high, one and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too ah. far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. One ball and two strikes to count. Sent out to straightaway center field. Thomas is camped under this one. And that's out number two. So two out, nobody on. And when to hit next will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. First delivery to him. A high fastball is in there. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Thomas has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Ball set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Lane Thomas. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So now to the plate, number three. He collected a base hit his first time up. Pitch on the way. Here's a looping fly ball out to right, and that's in there. Base hit. Here now is Juan Soto as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh oh for one for him here in this one. That evens it up one and one runner at first here one man out. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. As a look, now the pitch. Two and two. Got Not a out. bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. And That's this nice. misses ball for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three That's innings. Pitch. So first and second with one down and digging into bat next the big bat of Josh Bell. He's set and the pitch. Good pitch on the black that was the sinker for a strike. Behind Owen two now. Change up and he ain't buying it one and two. I love a well executed change up, especially one down in the zone. 
The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Now that the designated hitter, Ryan Zimmerman. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. As the first pitch up. misses to him, it's ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 2 0 oh to the oh. Nationals' DH in this one. Great out. chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now a swing by Zimmerman and a ball well hit out to deep left field. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. Zach Grinke, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. At the plate, Yadiel Hernandez. She'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Correa takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. And up next, it'll be Cabert Ruiz. And remember, he hit that two run homer his first time up. That last day, B, when he hit the home run, that was a decent changeup. It was down in the zone, but one of the problems when you have a good changeup like this pitcher does. Hitters go up there and they kind of look for that changeup. So he's going to have to locate it a little bit better in this upcoming at bat. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The bat, number two, Stepping in now, Luis Garcia. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Flew out in his only at bat so far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Hit the target, Ball. but this That's is down. low, two and one. Three and one to the that national is. shortstop. The Carter Keyboom would be next. And a ball good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position eight, now with eight. two away. Carter. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. Carter ball, Keboom ball. stands in as he looks at ball one here. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Cranky comes set. Here's the delivery. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to first. Will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. Squarely into chip away mode. First looking at a 6 0 deficit already in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. And here's a curveball one, one. in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. One, two. He's got feel for all his pitches. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder is on the run. No one can make a play on this one and the first Astros hit is going to be for extra bases. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. Yeah. 
McCormick. Into the box now, Chaz McCormick. Oh. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Astro center fielder ahead with a 2 0 count. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts. And he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 count right here. Two and balls, a good comeback strike. fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. And this one's uh -oh. low here, so the count swells to 3 and 1. 3 1. Three balls, one strike. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That's and he loses him on a breaking ball. Next up for the Strohs, Martin Maldonado. The catcher. Martin Maldonado. Here's the first pitch to him. Big spot right here. Got to find a way to get back in this ball game and scratch a run across. Comes set and the 0-1. Sets no, the target down. low here Ball. and it misses one and one. Maldonado, a native of Puerto Rico, he was selected in the 27th round back in the 2004 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Now passing, second baseman. Jose. Jose. First pitch on the way. Jose yeah. Altuve comes on with one gone here as he looks at a Still cold one. strike one. Here's one that That's misses high. It's one and one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Two That's balls ball. and a strike to Jose Altuve. Two balls, one strike. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Ah! And a full count now, three Round and two. two. Count remains full. He'll try it again, three and two. <laughs> Lifted in the air out to right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. Brantley. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. McCormick is off of first with two away. Falls behind 0-2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. One ball, two, two back strike. to back. To one and two now. From the stretch. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. 2-2. Uh, For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He's set. Here's the three and two. And another foul ball. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Looped out toward third. Oh, beautiful dive. Got him.
New inning set to get underway. And standing in the outfielder, Lane Thomas. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. That's a ball. 1 0. A one and one count to the Nationals' leadoff batter. That misses. Two and one, Two count. And one the count now to the national center fielder. Popped up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now at the plate, number three. Number Two three. base hits, both singles to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh. The 1 0 delivery. No, that missed. That's the ball. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. We'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. So two are gone now in the Nationals fourth, and digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Six runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Hit sharply on the ground. And despite the great effort, no throw from the second baseman, and that ought to be an infield single. Number 19, Josh. Bell. Josh Bell, the next to hit. And he fouls this one off. Hit back up the middle. Step on second for the force, and that'll do it. Set to go as the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Third baseman, Alex Bregman. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. No, this guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Counts oh, yeah. even one and one to Alex Bregman. One, one. Can't oh. find the zone there as he lays off the Two breaking ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. The 2 2. Looked like count. he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter and ball that misses ball for ball, ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth this is the for Houston Jordan Alvarez who went down on strikes in his last at bat yeah kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that All one right. and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB who I'm shocked he got away with that one boys curveball right down the middle of the plate oh, and for him it. to take that pitch looking he had to be sitting on something else but he should have pulled the trigger two one right. and two now Bregman gets his lead at first nobody out and this one's in the dirt but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Now to the plate, Carlos Correa. He flew out in his last AB. Carlos Correa. First pitch of the AB now. No, that missed. Well, That's he punched ball. out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. 
Maybe a little jumpy there ball, as he swings strike. through the fastball. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Uh, a good two. break to that thing, and it's one and two. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And in to hit next will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One ball, no strike. The 1 0 home is a fastball nope. that misses. Ball. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Too high. No, nope, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. On its way is pitch number 75. Right. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up in the scoring position now with two away. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Well. Yuli Guriel is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 0. Oh. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going oh. now. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hernandez will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and stepping in the long ball threat, Ryan Zimmerman. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. One and up. And this one's ball. too far inside. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. Three and three and now. And a good That's eye here four. as he Runner takes ball base. four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. The left field Next to hit field is Yadiel Yadi Hernandez. Yadi Flew out last time up. And now the first pitch. 1 0. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. At the plate now is Cable Ruiz. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Here's the first pitch. In there, strike one. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Fouled away. And a good two one strike two pitch, but he misses high one and two. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Two, Fastball two. misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. That's Outside and a full count, three and two. Full count. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Next, it'll be Luis Garcia. It was a walk in his last trip. Cranky comes set. First pitch on the way. Here comes the 0-1. Grounded to first. And 
He'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Chaz McCormick. Now here's the first offering. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. A swinging okay. strike, and now it's 0-2. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Another 0 and 2 coming. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first down. Now and stepping in, Martin Maldonado struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And it's fouled away. Strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Maldonado behind the ball and two strikes. Wanted One to get two, the two front thousand. door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. A two and two count ball. to the Astros catcher. Grounded back up the middle. On to first, and Strasburg's in control here, two away. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Notched an RBI on the sack fly in his previous turn in play. From the stretch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Pops this one up. Bell is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Carter Keboom. Number eight, Carter. And now the first pitch. And that nope. misses for ball one. Grounded up the first baseline. Guriel scoops it up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. So the Nats lineup turns over, and to the plate, Lane Thomas. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this is taken outside for ball one. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Breaking ball snaps in there for a cold One, strike two. two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now, now into the box three. number three is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Ha! A high fastball is in there. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball. Oh oh center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. And he that couldn't get him to chase ball. the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. No left fielder. Michael Brantley. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Shot down the line. It's a fair ball. Brantley will take the turn and head for second now. 
Not in time. He's in, there. He's in there with a double. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. No balls and one strike. The 0 1 pitch. Oh, and that is right there for strike two. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Throws in time, and that's out number one. That will bring up Jordan Alvarez. Who sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Jordan Alvarez. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss. Took something oh off that one, and it's strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. As a look, now the pitch. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The next one two pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now the bat. Carlos Correa, runner in scoring position with two Correa. And now the first pitch. Popped him up. Ruiz waits on it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. Six to one, the final tally today. Washington took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Steven Strasburg gets the W on the mound. Lance McCullers struggled and gets the loss after giving up six burn. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.